Hey Taurus Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. I gotta stop myself before I forget my um, channel messages. I saw the number 675 in my head. I don't know what that means. And I'm seeing 616, 666, 616. Hmm. And that just gave me Kendrick Lamar, his song 616 in LA. Somebody could be from LA or the date's June 16th or maybe June of 1975. I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Maybe those numbers are significant for someone, an address, a, a, an area code. I don't know. But that's what I'm seeing. 616, 675. And I've been seeing 675 actually since I got up this morning. But it's like literally been haunting me the light. The light mm, I can't talk. Lord. The last maybe five minutes while I was getting ready for your reading. Every time I look up on the TV, I'm just seeing 675. So I don't know what's significant about that number, but for some of you, um, it could be, somebody could be born in the year 1990. That could be you, that could be your child. Something could be significant about the year 1990. Hmm. And I'm seeing some, something significant about some shoes. I don't know if some of you recently bought some shoes or maybe you're looking for shoes for like an event or something like that. Okay, 702 just came on the TV, 702. 702 is Las Vegas, right? And I was thinking about Irish when I got up this morning. That was my buddy. Irish from 702. She's a Gemini. I found out she's a Gemini. Her and her twin sister, obviously, um, were Geminis. Rest in peace to them. She was such a sweetheart. Such a sweetheart. Um, so I don't know. Some of you could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp. I don't know why I woke up thinking about Irish this morning and she's on the TV right now. That is so insane. You trying to talk to me, sis? <laughs> but anyway, um, I don't know where to start. Well, you do have Gemini here. Wow. I just looked down and your dice is Gemini. I already rolled them. Hmm. There could be a Gemini significant. Maybe they're born in June. June 16th. Let me look up Irish's birthday because that's going to blow me away if that's her birthday. I don't know when her birthday is. I just know she's a Gemini. And I believe she is a June Gemini. I don't think she's a May Gemini. Irish, if your birthday is June 16th, I'm going to scream. Let's see. Irish. Brinstead. Birthday. Let's see. Oh, no. She's born June 2nd. 1980 so it's not 1990 i wonder why i don't know so maybe that maybe that could even be significant for some of you man she was so sweet oh that's gonna make me sad so i'm gonna get off of that okay let's get to this reading i know i'm all over the place y'all pardon my rambling um but anyway so we have the number five here some of you could be born on the fifth or obviously this could be the month of may we have this castle here didn't y'all pull this the other day <laughs> i just heard queen for the day Queen for the day. What does that mean? Why did I hear that? I don't know. We have you getting some sleep. Okay. Some of you could be getting rest. You know, Taurus, the thing about us is I feel like our home is our castle. We love being home usually. Um, I kind of feel like some of you, this could be that you've done like some purging, maybe recently cleaned your home or maybe put somebody out of your home so you're sleeping better at night. You know, there's something about feeling very comfortable with this. This feels comfortable. This may be you finding a place to lay your head that just feels like it's the perfect fit for you, a new house or something like that, new apartment, whatever it might be new living quarters. It just kind of feels like you're sleeping well, like you're worried about anything. You feel very at peace. You could just be feeling at home with someone because y'all know that's important for us. So this could be that some of you have been trying to maybe close on a home, look for a home. Some of y'all could be in the market for a house or something here with the number five. Number five is usually about conflicts, um, changes. So you could have recently relocated, moved, changed homes. You, you know what I'm saying? Moved house. So yeah, that could be what's going on. And some of you may be like, finally, like, okay, now I can move, move my stuff in. I can relax now. So you could be getting good news about a home if you didn't already. We had this alien in this robot. Didn't y'all get the alien the other day? I kind of feel like somebody is trying to read into your energy, but they can't. They could even be getting readings on you. I feel like this is something spiritual otherworldly i mean somebody could be seeing you this way as well but i feel like somebody is seeing you as a person that really is acting robotic towards them you know what i'm saying like if you have to talk to them say you have children or say you were living in the same house and you had to talk to them to a degree you're giving them very like short answers like yes no i don't know maybe 
Like that's the way you're, <laughs> that's the way you're talking to somebody now. That's the way you feel towards them and they can energetically feel it. Even if you're not talking, somebody feel like you just went cold turkey on them Taurus. Yeah. And I kind of feel like you're sleeping better since you got this person off. It could be a Gemini. I don't know. Or some of you are on the Taurus Gemini cusp. That's crazy that this, that, um, well, now Biggie is on it. He's a Gemini as well. His birthday, May 21st. I know that because he says it in the song. That could be significant. I don't know what this song is that's on. Let me turn it up a little bit because it might be significant. What the heck is this song? Oh, this is this is Faith. Faith is a Gemini too. What's all this Gemini energy? <sighs> okay, this is Faith's first song. Y'all now have forgot the name of the song. <laughs> so we have January here. We have problem solving. We have lies and we have good news. So you have good news coming in. Some of you could be getting good news about a home. Y'all, what's the name of this song? I remember the way you used to love me. Yeah, the way you used to love me. Somebody remembers the way you used to love them. It could be a Gemini person. So you have something happening in the month of January. It feels like good news. It feels like some problems are being solved. Like I said, it could be a conflict around a, a living situation. And maybe somebody lied to you and this is why you are being so robotic towards them. These are not your, this is not your reading. This is just preliminary possible things that could be going on. Somebody could have a red sofa. I just saw a red sofa. I just saw the sofa that my mother had in my head growing up when I was a little kid. She had this red, like, velvet sofa. I think it was velvet. Um. Yeah, now I'm looking up and Faith is sitting in a red chair. Yeah, so it's not, somebody could have, like, a big piece of red furniture in their, in their home, their bedroom, their living room, wherever. But it feels like a sofa. It could be a chair. Now this lady is sitting on a red sofa. That's interesting. Okay. So I don't know why I saw that in my head from my childhood, but I don't know. Somebody could be getting some furniture around Christmas time. All right. So let's get into this reading. I know this has been all over the place. So we have here, um, irrit what is this? Oh, irritable events. Evil omens, sending you insects, birds, snakes, and rats. Oh, see, no. What is this? Somebody pissed. Somebody could have an infestation in their home, could have had. You know, when I see this alien, I think invasion. <laughs> so for some of you, maybe you have been having an issue with insects in your home. It could be something just small. It might be an ant. It doesn't have to be birds, black birds, snakes, and rats. But for some of you, you could find that you're having, or maybe where you just moved from, um, there was an issue with some kind of rodents or insects or something. And this is because somebody is sending this negative energy your way. See, I ain't got time for these kind of readings. What is this? That's why I rarely use these kind of decks, because what? We have recharge your energy. Yeah, this is you recharging your energy. And what did I tell y'all? I told y'all Libra season. This is definitely giving me the Four of Swords. Which is October 13th through the 20... What is it? The 23rd? I think it's the 20... Oh, it's the 22nd. Yeah. So something... For some of you, you were getting a lot of rest at that time. Maybe something happened during that time that put you at ease. Put you in a um, space of peace. It says distance yourself. Take a vacation. Pamper indulgence. And do things that make you happy. So yeah, the four of swords can't talk about like going to the spa. Getting massages. Things like that. Maybe that's why I was seeing the red sofa. Maybe it's not about a home. Maybe it's like just relaxation or something. This is Libra energy. You can have Libra in your chart. Or you could be connected to a Libra. Maybe you took a break from a Libra. I'm trying to see what I can get from this. Hopefully they don't hear this music. They have Isaiah... Um, Washington in this music video. I never knew he was in this video. Somebody's name could be Isaiah. Oh my God, he's so young in this video. Isaiah. I love that name. I think it's such a powerful sounding name. I wonder what it means. Isaiah. Um. Yeah, so somebody could have a Libra Jupiter placement if it's not a Libra that you're connected to. Let me get on the ball because I'm like moving slow. Okay, one more. 
also feel like you're avoiding somebody and this could be why they're feeling this way envious of your children or pregnancy wow some of you could be pregnant okay or you just have successful children or maybe just the way you raised your children we have jupiter retrograde problems with making important life changes for future benefits expansion abundance and prosperity this is somebody that's having a hard time i've been telling y'all that haters are mad because they see you winning mm -hmm. so somebody's upset because they're in jupiter retrograde you're in maybe like a growth and expansive period in your life your your jupiter is in the upright it's not in retrograde it's, it's moving right the way it's supposed to be moving which is all about you adding to yourself growing evolving changing for the better brightening your horizons all of those good things you have building blocks. You have things happening for you. And these people or this person is jealous. We have an unexplained freak accident. Hopefully that hasn't happened. Causing you dizzy spells, blurred vision, nosebleeds, and loss of hearing. Interesting. Stealing your ideas, pretending they invented them. And then we have temperature, hot, far away, and gap. So somebody I feel like is really angry at you because you put distance between you two. They're mad because you pay them no mind. Yeah, it says they're mad because you pay no mind to them. That's exactly what I just said. Your significant other is sending you negativity. That's a shame if it is your significant other. Um, we have Mercury retrograde, delays, problems, interruptions with transportation and communication. And the last one I'll take is fierce temper, has too many anger issues and dark moods, abusive. Mm. So you did right by cutting this person off. Some of you, this is in the workplace. Somebody is sending you the evil eye. I, I don't like talking about that kind of stuff. But it doesn't matter because your um, message says you have good news. Especially in the month of January, you might find yourselves pregnant if you are still young enough and you're open to that. You may find yourself, well, you ain't got to be open if you're still being active and you're not taking precautions. Some of you could find yourselves pregnant. You're just in your winning phase of life. And there's a lot of blessings coming towards you. A lot of growth and expansion here. And somebody is mad because you put distance between you and them. Mm, mm, mm. Let's get into this. We're 12 minutes in. Okay, so what is this evil omen sending you insects and birds? What is this crap? The seven of cups, the five of wands, and the moon. Oh, my God. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo person. Somebody wants you confused. They want they want you. I just heard scatterbrain. Somebody wants you out of alignment here. This is somebody you could have had an argument with, maybe because they kept secrets, maybe other options in love or something like that. This is somebody that wants you in your head paranoid. Okay. Hmm. Because this is like paranoia, hallucinations. Okay. Some of y'all could be having really crazy dreams. You could be having dreams where you're fighting a lot. Maybe you're even just having dreams about these birds, snakes, and rats, and insects, and things like that. This is sick. Like, what is this? I could be doing moon magic. Six of Pentacles. Taurus, this is your energy. See, this is you growing and expanding. This is you coming into money. This is like... Some kind of windfall of money, abundance, inheritance. For some of you, this could even be your own family doing this to you. This could be a six-year relationship you cut off. Look at you showing up as the four of swords again. Recharge your battery. You got this energy here, which is the same. And then you get the card that represents like you pampering yourself. Somebody feels you, feels like you're too cool, calm, and collected and they want to disturb your peace. Because this is a card of peace and quiet. A moment to catch your breath after going through a heartbreak. A betrayal could be with a leaper, y'all. What is going on here? The moon comes out again. Yeah, somebody is trying to disturb your sleep state. I don't feel like this is necessarily happening in everybody's home. It could be with the insects and stuff. I feel like somebody's trying to invade you. You could have dreamed about a, a, scorpion, a scorpion or wolves. And my grandmother used to always tell me when you dream about dogs, which obviously wolves are closely related to dogs, um, it's a sign of enemies. And every time she told, I mean, every time, since she told me that, every time I've had dreams about dogs and they would always be kind of like attacking me, it would absolutely be true that I would find out somebody around me wasn't right. So I feel like this is somebody you've already cut off because this is past tense. I feel like you've already cut this person off. For some of you, it may have been the last five days. Some of you, it could have been six years. I'm seeing seven months. I'm seeing four weeks for some of you. And this person is like, you're not paying me any attention. How dare you? So they could be trying to do moon magic or something here to manipulate your energy in your dream state, I feel. The Knight of Swords, they're argumentative. 
could be a Gemini. <laughs> that's a Gemini. That's a Taurus Gemini Cusper. Or this is you standing up for yourself. Because the Knight of Swords is brave. The Knight of Swords don't take no mess. Okay, so that could be you. What is the Knight of Swords? This could be somebody wanting to communicate with you. Oh, yeah. So this is maybe somebody wanting to argue with you, but you're like, nope, I'm at peace. I'm meditating. I'm chilling. Leave me alone. Don't want to talk. This is a forceful person who won't say no. They can be kind of abusive, um, argumentative. I call them the great debater. This could also be some of you have spoken your mind and you're ready to move on. And now you're at peace because you already did some want to do, you know. Let's see what this recharge your, your um energy is all about so spirit is telling you to take a vacation pay for yourself i feel like you already did i told y'all i feel like virgo and libra season y'all were chilling knight of pentacles yeah some of y'all just been working maybe you need a break from work some of y'all are workaholics perfectionists that's the knight of pentacles routine you need a break from your routine virgo energy i feel like you took a break from it yeah page of pentacles so that could be a conflict here when it comes to like um Work home life balance and spirit may be telling you to take a break here. Some of you are always strategizing how to make more money, you know, <laughs> which is, you know, that's our nature. Page of Pentacles is Taurus energy. That's Venusian energy. So for some of you, this is like, I got a plan, you know, I got a workable plan and I'm going to execute it no matter how long it takes. For some of you, you might just need to step away from a project or go for like a moment and just catch your breath. Others of you, this is just like, man, you're always thinking of a master plan. You're always thinking about a way to make money. Two of Cups, maybe you need to partner with someone. Some of you need to spend more time with your partner. Maybe a new partner. Could be a Cancer. This could be like, you know, two two heads are better than one. Somebody can make the, the your life so much easier, your workload so much lighter if you would let them help you. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who's bipolar or depressed. To go back to this person over here, they have mental health issues. Why did I feel the need to say that? They may need to take their medication and maybe they don't. Could be a Scorpio person. The Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. This could be a person who always um, dwells on the past. Hmm. This could be somebody you got into a relationship with rather quickly. Some of y'all could have been intimate with them on the first night. No judgment. That's your business. I feel like for some of y'all, this is a Scorpio. Monica is on the TV. Monica is a Scorpio. And I, I'm getting like she has a white dress on with a red rose in her hand. And when I look at that contrast, I get somebody coming like they're an angel, like parody. I'm hearing an angel of mine. That's not what she's singing on the video. But when, when I look at the contrast of the red rose, I get like blood. I get this energy of a breakthrough moment, like breakthrough bleeding, if that makes sense. I know this sounds kind of dark, but just, just work with me. I feel like some of you are dealing with a person who they can never get over things, okay? They're the kind of person that harps on stuff, even though it's over. And I know that, I mean, that's a lot coming from a Taurus, right? Y'all know we hold on to stuff too. But I feel like with us, we hold on to stuff from a very rational place. And this is no shade towards Scorpios. I've never dealt with a Scorpio. But from what I'm told, like Scorpio is dark energy. <laughs> Scorpio is really dark energy and it's transformative because in the dark is where things grow. So, but I also feel like this is the kind of person who has a dark side. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I feel like when you met them, it didn't feel like that, though. I feel like they felt like a dream come true. But see, this is like you never know what you're going to get. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, because maybe they have all these different personality types. Sometimes they are loving. Sometimes they are snake. Sometimes they make you feel, you know, like they're all in their ego. Maybe there's sometimes that you feel like this person and you shouldn't be together with this skull here. Like this is dead. Other times it feels like maybe we can work it out. I just kind of feel like she has all these red roses. It's giving me funeral. Like, baby, why? And y'all know Monica is a like a more, I don't think she's a mortician, but she does that kind of work. And that's right up a Scorpio's alley. <laughs> Sagittarians and Scorpios like that kind of work. So I don't know, you could be dealing with either of those or somebody with those placements in their chart. This reading is literally all over the place because I'm really just kind of like talking to y'all today since this is like technically the end of my week. Um, 
but I feel like I want to get these messages out because I feel like they're relevant for some of y'all. Some for some of you, you've been in a connection with somebody that you had to distance yourself from. I feel like it felt good at one point. If this is past energy, and I feel like you discovered there was something else to this person. There was something sneaky. There was another side. This is somebody wearing a mask. So what I'm getting is your person does have mental health issues. They play mind games, and I kind of feel like they look maybe even to other people like they're really good. Everybody is wearing white in this video. And y'all know white symbolizes, they have khakis on. So, so I, I instantly got jail culture. <laughs> I instantly see like the guys in California. I just see like somebody that has a dark side, okay? And y'all know Monica likes guys, she likes bad boys. She she lives to be with a bad boy because that's that dark Scorpio nature that she has. She That's what she wants. I ain't trying to be with no bad boy. I need somebody that can pay bills and, and take care of responsibilities. You can have the bad boys. Bad boys are good for one night. <laughs> Not a lifetime. So that's why she always find herself single. Girl, you better learn how to pick long term. All right, yeah. So I kind of feel like this is a person that could be... This person might even be the kind of person who's kind of stagnant in their work. Like they don't hold a job down or something. They got Brandy sitting up in my room. That's exactly the kind of person I'm saying. Like somebody that might be a little bit lazy. Brandy is an Aquarius. Yeah, this is somebody that gets in their head. I'm telling y'all they got mental health issues. Could be a Gemini. But back to this Gemini energy. If some of you started to see this. Or some of you got out of your own head. You liberated yourself. This is free will. And that's that new blood I was just talking about. I just said that. That breakthrough blood. That's what this flag represents. Some of you started to see the red flags with this person. And this is the jail card. Remember I said they could have they can have like a criminal record or something. There's something about this person I don't like. And this is why you distance yourself. We're going to move on to envious of your children or pregnancy. Some of you are either starting a family with someone new. Somebody's name could be Donald. This guy in this video's name is Donald. And they're mad because you're moving on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You may have blocked this person. Leo energy. Yep. But the five of cups, I feel like you cried your last tear over this person. That's a Scorpio card. Well, some of you, this person is emotionally manipulative because you see how they're pouring out the, their own water as opposed to these cups are supposed to represent something that ended that this person can't get over. It's supposed to be three cups. He's pouring the water out. So this is like somebody that self-sabotaged. They did this to themselves. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, you may have blocked them. Or maybe they blocked you and now they want to be the victim. They feel like they missed an opportunity. They are disappointed because you moved on or you are. Like I said, they feel like you're robotic. You had a fool. You jumped into something new. You have a new relationship. Yep, the sun shows up again. I love when it comes out more than once. You even see the sun in this card. So this is you being future focused, focused on your happiness, focused on your healing, focused on maybe a new relationship. This is a pregnancy card. This is a pregnancy card. This person might be the kind of person that feels like somebody else tried to trap you with the pregnancy. But oh, no, it's just your person. That's all. Yes, she's pregnant. Ten of Cups. This is wish fulfillment manifesting. See, this is a person that's going to be like, well, or feel this way. They may never, they may never tell you. Gemini Virgo. Somebody could be really manipulative here. They want to change the outcome of your relationship status. They're going to try to either tell you this or this is how they're feeling about your relationship. Oh, that person manipulated you. Oh, you fell for the sweet talk. Oh, you got into a new relationship too quickly. What about me? Well, it says this person is envious of your children in pregnancy. And what do you have here? Children in pregnancy with a man and a woman and love. Happy. This is your happily ever after. This is domestic bliss. This is the nuclear family, the American dream. This is having everything you want. It's emotional fulfillment. It's wish fulfillment. And I feel like you have manifested this. You work for this. But they're going to try to make it seem like maybe just to other people, not to you. If they're blocked, you would not know. Somebody that's like, oh, they just, or they try to get back at me. Or this person just got them pregnant because um, they wanted to trap them. Or they got pregnant by that person because they wanted to trap them. And it's like, nah, baby. <laughs> nah, baby. I just walked away from you. <laughs> Pisces season, I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all, Pisces season, it is. It keeps showing up. Pisces season, you're walking away. You're walking away. You're like, I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Nothing at all. And this is March 11th through the 20th. 
in particular. It says, stay optimistic regardless of what's going on. You will get exactly what you're praying for in the end. Divine timing is at play. Be patient and expect only the best. Absolutely. Somebody emotionally stable or your emotion stabilizing divine masculine. Somebody that is compromising fair balance. King of Cups shows up twice. And look at this person feeling defeated. A Gemini for some of y'all. And this is Gemini Sun energy. So yeah, you got Scorpio. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. So you can have a Scorpio coming towards you. Whoever this person is, they're invested. They care about you. It showed up twice. He's like, I'm here. Baby, I got your front and your back. <laughs> what you looking for? I got it all. Yeah, and this is somebody that's very emotionally stable. This is your rock, your support system, your comforter. They got your back. They love you through thick and thin. Oh, look at them heartbroken and sad. Oh, with their immature selves. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you're like, I don't want your apology. You can keep that because I'm on my high horse. Some of y'all can meet this person at a club because when I saw Monica on TV, I instantly thought of the Six of Wands. Because when I first was learning tarot, that's how I always knew with this card. That's how I memorized because I used to try to memorize. No, you, you need to understand tarot, not memorize. But I used to try to memorize. And this card means all eyes are on you. This could be somebody you meet online, somebody that you meet that's famous, or you could be. Or somebody putting you on a pedestal here. And before I went to sleep, I got this channeled message. Take them off the pedestal and put yourself on the pedestal. This could just be you doing this for yourself. Maybe that message is for you. Yeah, you got two aces here. You got the magician, which is all the aces in one. That's the trump card. So that means nothing else on this table trumps this magician. This magician means you can have whatever you want. And it looks like a new passionate connection, creative projects, money. Okay, this could be a new job, new car, new home. I'm hearing greener pastures when I look at this. Like you're moving into the best phase of your life. The next best phase of your life. Because it's going to continue to get better. We don't stay stagnant ever. Okay? Not ever. I want to put these cards back. And I'm just going to ask Spirit if Spirit has any extra um, messages for you that you need to hear in closing. Almost like a piece of advice. But we'll have to see if it is a piece of advice. <laughs> I'm going to just like two or three cards. And see what happens. Okay? So bear with me. And I am doing an all signs reading on my second channel. I will post it here tomorrow or um, maybe even today, later today, and at the latest on Saturday because I have some personal readings to do. So um, I'm not exactly sure the time frame, but it'll be for all the signs. So you all can just go there and click on the timestamp for Taurus or whatever sign you want to watch. Any messages for Taurus in closing? Ace of Cups. Now you get another Ace. New love. This could be a new relationship or this could be a very spiritual card, intuitive card. What is the Ace of Cups? It's a new opportunity. Usually something emotional. Nine of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay. So I do feel like somebody I'm getting the, the energy that somebody wants another chance with you. You're, you're showing up as rejecting them. Could be a Cancer or you just have Cancer in your chart. Oh, y'all, what are we going to do with this person? Why do they keep coming out? Do y'all know? <laughs> Why can't they just go on about their lives? Somebody can have a cancer moon placement. Listen. Okay, so I'm seeing a Libra, Venus. I'm seeing Sagittarius. Okay, so look. I kind of feel like your critical thinking skills are growing. I feel like a lot of you are in Queen of Swords energy. I feel like it's because of the things you've been through. Some of you have relationship PTSD, and it may be hard for somebody else to get through. But I do see new love coming in. You could be rejecting it, though. But this person could be the total package, especially if they're like world-renowned, famous, or you meet them online, okay? Now, I ain't saying that every little, you know, person that says how online is the one. Just properly vet people. But that's what I see, y'all. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Somebody could be having leg pain, tingling, numbness, stuff like that. Maybe somebody has restless leg syndrome. I don't know why I just heard that, but <laughs> like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Maybe get your circulation checked. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.